to episode five of Let's Chat, where we cover off all things community rugby. We'll look at last week's results. We'll touch on the ladder. We'll also look at a few issues around the ground, and then we'll uh, finish off with a few little interesting things. One, TMO Clip of the Week, and also the new local hero of the of the week. So, Graham, thanks for joining me once again. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. No worries. Um, before we get started, Coops, let's 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 get the elephant in the room. Everyone's asking. Everyone's talking about it. Mate, the upgrade. Yeah, what can we say? We're doing a pretty good job. Budgets just increased a little <laughs> bit. Um, let's be honest, we stole this out of the uh, reception area, but um, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks great. Looks great. Good work. So let's look at the results from, from last week in that FMG Premier grade. Um, we'll start there with the Cot v Calamunda out at Hartfield Park. I was actually there. Tough game, both teams. What did you see in that one? You had a look at it during the week. Yeah, I've had a look at the the, the tape. Um, mate, big tough game. Cop boys getting pushed all the way to the end from a pretty young Cala team. So um, the Cot set piece, getting him over the line in the end there. Yeah, and a tough one there. 29-25. Um, around the ground there. So West Scarborough defeated Perth Bayswater 68-13 at Pat O'Hara Reserve. Wanneroo, tough, tough win there over Pally. 13 points to 10 at Kingsway. Um, the Netties UW game, 29-26. Yeah, a bit of a spiteful, spiteful one, I believe. Uh, yeah. A bit of niggle in that game. So, um, yeah, Netties getting up and cementing that top spot. Absolutely. Ox and Cavs, another tight one there, 18 points to 8. Harrisdale, Soaks defeating Joondalup in a, in a one-sided affair there, 42-0. And Southern Lions getting over the top of Curtin, 62-5. Um, if we have a look at the ladder... Yeah, so the latter shows us that uh, Nedlands, after their win on the weekend, uh, sort of um, cemented themselves in that top spot for now. Um, but saying that from second place all the way through to ninth is a pretty close affair. So any, any one of those guys can stay in that top six or, or get bumped out in the next couple of rounds. So a big couple of weeks um, coming up in community rugby. Absolutely, Graham. Absolutely. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look. There's a few issues on the weekend, from what I've been told, around Rugby Explorer. So that's currently been um, resolved, uh, yeah. I believe, this week. So if you've had any issues, it has been looked at. Um, the other big one there, so we had Ben Grant, Angus Taylor. The great work by those two boys who debuted for the force. And a, and a good win as well for those boys. So Benny, good work. Both products of the Future Force Academy. So another good success story from that, that program. Yeah. And next um, on our list is uh, the Western Force Club promotion for the next game um, uh, in the Showcase Series. Um, it's all about your club, getting your, as many participants from your club to buy tickets to that game. Um, the club with the, the biggest percentage of their club participants involved or, or coming to that game will win a nice prize. There's a nice tiered um, promotion around that prize money there. I think it's six, four and two grand for the top three teams. Invite your grandmas, granddads, cousins, aunties, uncles, get them down there to the next force game. Um, schools are also in that coop, so, but they must use that unique voucher code for either their club or their school to, to get it going to that draw to win or, or get an opportunity to win. So that's going to be a good one. Look after that one. Bledisloe Cup long lunch. So coming up not too long now, it's come around quickly for the Bledisloe. And um, proceeds will go to clubs um, in celebration of the community rugby, emceed by Trevor Jenkins, first hand inside of the match from the Wallabies, uh, Mark Ella and Tim O'Horan, as well as an all black Josh Cronfeld. For those of you who remember Josh Cronfeld. Um, so it should be pretty good. Get your, get your club together and get some tickets. So let's look at uh, head at the fixtures for this upcoming week. Hoops in the FMG Premier Grade. Uh, I'll kick us off, Nedlands v Joondalup. Over at the foreshore, who do you have in this one? Uh, mate, I think Nedlands, um, I guess you can't tip against them at the moment. Um, good skills, scored a lot of tries, and their defence holds up pretty well as well. So, mate, I think Dune Love are going to be pretty pushed to, to get over the line at the foreshore this week. Yeah, I did see big Damo Pacheco also running around in the front row, number three. Can't miss him. The Rock, I call him. Call the something Rock. something else, but that's all good. Um, yeah. <laughs> mate, to you. Um, <laughs> Both coming off losses on the weekend. Uh, Pally v Perth Bayswater at Tompkins Park. Yeah, but yeah, as you mentioned, both coming off losses there. I, I think though, I think Tompkins Park is a bit of a fortress there for the Pally, and they should come away with this victory. It'll be a tight one. 
Uh, maybe just by, by three as well. Um, Cot v Ox at Harvey Field. What do you have? Uh, I think it'll depend on the weather. Um, today, obviously, a bit rainy. If that continues, I think the Ox boys are, are, are in with a shot. Um, nice um, dry weather. I think the Cot boys might get over the top. The goals don't like the cold. No, they're not. Yeah. No, they're not at all. Um, mate, the next one I'm in the middle for, so I'll refrain from tipping. Um, it'll be an absolute cracker, no doubt, if, if I'm in the middle. Um, but, mate, who do you think? West Scarborough v UWA at Bennett Park. If Confetti Cooper comes back, there'll be less <laughs> people on the park who get to a sevens game. But this, this is going to be a really good game. Um, UWA, some young boys, been playing really good footy um, and, and deservedly up on the table um, up there. West Scarborough have consistently played well over the last couple of weeks. Um, I know they, they potentially have to reshuffle a few players around, but I'm going to I'm gonna pick West Scarborough only just over UWA, but again, I'm not confident on that one. Uh, Curtin Uni v Wanneroo at Edinburgh Oval. Um, mate, I think Wanneroo boys are going to get up here. Um, saying that, Curtin boys, mate, they're hanging in there in games. I believe they, um, at halftime last week, it was a pretty close affair. Um, so they're playing better footy for longer periods, uh, but I think the, the Wanneroo boys are just too fit and will run away with it in the second half. Absolutely. Um, mate, and the last one, the Battle of the South, I like to call it these yeah. days. Um, the Coastal Cavs v Southern Lions um, down at Lark Hill, the wind tunnel. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. I think, I think Coastal Cavs, gee whiz, I'm, I'm really impressed by what they're doing. They've got some big, strong ball carriers. They look to bash teams around, and we know that's what they like. Southern Lions, geez, they've, they've done well over the last couple of years, and this year they're really, really hitting their straps. I'm going to tip Southern Lions just on recent form. I think they've done really well. Um, I picked them only by, by two points there. Yeah, it might, if it's windy down there and Charles got his oh, kick kicking boot on, on, maybe he'll be going from 60 uh, all day, I think. He'll do that all day. <laughs> he loves it. Um, and the live stream game of the round, we have Associates taking on Kalamunda over at the Boneyard. Yeah, so, mate, this one's another humdinger of a game. Um, set piece, I think it's going to be where it's won or lost. Um, both, both packs are pretty big, pretty solid, um, and then their defensive game. Um, but Soaks at home at the Boneyards is pretty tough to beat. Uh, and um, with their old boys um, getting down there in their old school jerseys on the hill, um, giving them a little bit more support this week, I think it's going to be... Um, Soaks by a couple in that one. Yeah, so once again, that's the jersey day down at Soaks at the Boneyard. So any old Soaks boys, bring your jerseys down, get on that, that little hill and, and support your club. So we're going to have a look at the local hero. So this is our first local hero of the week. Um, this is someone who does stuff at your club, who goes unnoticed, who you think deserves to be recognised in, in the wider community. And, and this week we've had a few nominations um, from Perth Bayswater and congratulations Robbie Broomfield. You've been nominated and, and won the Local Hero of the Week. Robbie is a committee member at, at Perth Bayswater. She does everything down there. I know I've had many interactions with her where she's the first there to help in, last to leave. and. She does so much for that club, Coops. It's, it's a really, really uh, good thing to see. Congratulations, Robbie, once again. And please, if you, have any, some, if you have anyone at your club that you think deserves to be recognised as the local hero of the week, please send it into Rugby WA and give us a little spiel on what they do. Uh, we would love to recognise them and give them the recognition they deserve. Um, so please, yeah, just send it in. Um, next um, is our TMO Clip of the Week, Dane. Um, once again, please send in your, your funny videos, photos and things that happen around community rugby. Um, but this week, we're going to um, plug the referees a little bit. Um, the, the breakdown being such a tough um, area to referee, we would like Bobby Rattler to, to teach us. And Bobby Rattler's fielding the ball. He's got some space there. He's found a bit of space. Oh, though, the defence is closing in. Oh, there's bodies all around him. He's going to get trapped. He's going to get caught. He's been isolated. He's going to get done for holding on here. Yes, gone. Penalised. We can see there in the slow-mo. Great decision from the referee. Bodies all around him. He had to release far quicker than that. So, 
<laughs> Good one, Coops. Another another clip from you. You just want to get yourself on TV more, do you? No, mate. Just trying to educate um, the community about the game. Yeah, Refereeing's an important part. Time, mate. No, no, no. Enough air time. Mate, Tom's don't... got enough air time. Don't <laughs> worry about that. Well, that wraps up another episode of Let's Chat. Um, please remember to send in any stories from around the ground. If there's anyone playing their, you know, 500th game, whatever, we want to hear about it so we can plug them next week. Your local hero as well. Um, and then please send in your TML clip of the week. We, we, I don't want to see him again, please. Yeah, please. Cool. Coops, thank you for joining me once again. Appreciate um, your time, Dane. Good, good. A, lot, a lot goes into this. Oh, mate, the behind the scenes would be incredible. Um, good luck this weekend at, at Bennett Park. Thanks, mate. All right, keep the boys on the pitch. Yeah, I'll try. Thanks, mate. <laughs>